when it's all said and done, how you want to see yourself as a, as an actress? Like when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. What's success for you as a, as an actress? Like at the end of the day. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit, motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shab. Shab vs. a by Podcast, episode 189. We got somebody, man. We've been trying to make this happen, but she a busy person, so, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You know, you got to work. When you work, you know what I'm saying? You got to work and shit. But we got actress, goddamn model. Goddamn, you want to be a comedian and shit. You know what I'm saying? I heard about that, John. Comedian, content creator, brand ambassador. Hey, man, we got beef in the building, man. She went to your, your, your uh, she went to Cast Tech, man. You went to King and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cast <laughs> Tech, you know what I'm saying? She played in Dirty D. She got her first uh, leading role coming up called uh, Let Me Be. Uh, she was in If I Can't, uh, Ultimate Betrayal. Uh, I saw her, you know, movie. She was in that bitch shooting that thing. Like, she could really shoot and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Out the window and shit. But we got uh, Sierra Smith in the building. What's good? Hey, hey, hey. How, how you feel? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I ain't gonna lie. At first, I'm like, man, she ain't gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got that spin face. Like, I'm just gonna spin you. Like, no, nah, if I say I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. Yeah. But if I don't say nothing, yeah, you ain't, you ain't fucking with it. No, if I say I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Do, do you have you have you had a history of spending like niggas? Like, <laughs> like you know, like, you got that. You know, you, do so, I have it? Like, am I known for that? Yeah. Have you ever like have it ever came back to you? Like, damn, you, you know, Sierra, you spent me right. We supposed to have did this, did that. You sold me, and you just said fuck it. Don't everybody have those moments? I'm a good guy. No, not me. Oh. <laughs> I'm a good guy. I'm, I'm straight up and down. Somebody might say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While, while, while we here, we don't want to really start off like that. Like, um, relationships. Me and my uh, producer was talking about relationships before you got here. We just talking about different things. Like, you know what I'm saying? How to make relationship last and stuff and things that you would do. Mm -hmm. And... The um the topic of hall pass came about, <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, as a young man, you'll probably be like, yeah, you know, you cool with it, but as like now, I would never be able to accept the, that situation. Like letting knowing that a nigga's fucking my wife, and I'm fucking around with some chick, and just knowing when you come back, like shit, that nigga might put it down on you. You know, what I'm saying you now you think about that nigga when we fucking and shit, or vice versa, <laughs> she might put it on me, like. And now I'm thinking about her when I'm fucking you. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, my ego would get in the way, and it just, I'd be fucked up. How you feel about that? Like, do you think a hall pass can make a relationship last and be something that you can continue on doing because you know you got that time to fuck somebody else? Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -mm. You can't do it? No. Nope. Mm. I ain't play like that. Yeah. So, what, what, what would you say, like, to make a relationship last? Like, what's some shit that should be... You know what I'm saying Involved like To make sure like, We don't get bored With each other When we tired of each other Like in your opinion In my opinion To like keep that spark mm -hmm. Dang you want my opinion Yeah for sure <laughs> Hell yeah Hell yeah we, we, The people the, Everybody want to hear that Like they want to see her want to know Let me think <laughs> <laughs> Um let's see Humor mm -hmm. You gotta be You gotta have some type of form Or something that's gonna make y'all laugh Like mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of get a, uh, I ain't going to say in trouble, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, you do. You said it, so. <laughs> <laughs> when you said it, she's like, I ain't going to say it. Are you trying to add a little humor to it? Like, but wait. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you put that laugh out loud, everything good. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I, I would cheat a little bit laugh out loud. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm not a cheater. Yeah. Um, but let's you say, see. Like, humor definitely play a, a, a role. It's yeah, and, uh understanding mm -hmm. everybody different you got to know your person like mm -hmm. there's things that i know about my person that might get him to easily or step out and sure. there's things that he should know about me that might mm -hmm. make me want to spark my interest yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know because yeah. we all are human at the end of the day i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna be up here like i don't get tempted yeah no for sure i think we all get tempted like yeah. anybody with eyes gonna be like damn like <laughs> This is this is the fact is are you gonna do it though? Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Now, and, there, and we were also talking about like like this has been my longest relationship, and like I ain't got no reason to lie. Like I, I this is the first time I haven't fucked around. 
like on a relationship. And like I'm proud of myself. Like I know it's something you supposed to, you know, you you supposed to do. But it's like like I haven't been tempted. Of course, you know, you see pretty chicks. So it's like I know she see pretty, you know, I ain't gonna say pretty dudes, but <laughs> nice looking dudes. Like, but it ain't been no temptation like to be like, you know what I'm gonna fuck because I'm thinking about like once I do, then I'm gonna be like, damn, I'm gonna be feeling bad. Yeah. Like, you don't feel horrible. Yeah, then you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, and it's just the, the fear of like, what if you do that shit and like that person, like, of course, new sex is going to be good, but it's like, damn, she did something that shit. She ain't never did that before. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now you you want that. Now you ain't even paying attention to your, to your lady or your girlfriend, your wife or whatever. Dang, I didn't think about that part. Yeah, because Craig put it on you and Marcus didn't do it right. He's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now you stuck on Craig. Now when you you mess around with Marcus, you still thinking about Craig. So it's just like that whole shit. Just and at the end of the day, when you get older, like that whole cheating shit, that faithfulness. Like, I mean, being a cheater and playing around. Like, if you gonna do that shit, just be single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to embarrass nobody, and I don't want nobody embarrassing me. Mm -hmm. At the end of for the sure, day, for sure, for sure. Now, usually, like I said, we start everything off with a, a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times, we wait for people to pass away before we can give them their flowers. Um, but it can't be an easy answer. It can't be mom, dad. Can't be a relationship or kids. It gotta be somebody out there, easy answer. So you got somebody you wanna go ahead and send some love to, you know what I'm saying? That wouldn't expect the flowers. That wouldn't expect the flowers, mm -hmm. so I wanna send some love to. Yeah, no mom, no dad, no Craigs. Just, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'ma send some love to Ashley. What's up, Ash? That's my one of my closest friends. I know her since I was four years old. She pregnant, so oh, sure, I'm sending yeah, some congrats. extra love to her and my little nephew, BJ. Damn, so y'all been cool since four. Like, yes. Now we talk about relationships. That's a relationship too, a friendship. Ah, oh, dang. Like how? Like how do you keep that? Cause like <laughs> keep that going. Like, cause I told my son, like my son is 16, 17, and I'm like, bro, like the, the the people you cool with, like you're gonna change friends each, you know, phase of your life. Like you got your high school friends, and once you graduate, y'all going to different schools, like. How do you keep that friendship for four, since four? Like, that's crazy. Okay, so we grew up in the same neighborhood, like, on the same block. Mm -hmm. So that was the, you know, kid years. Mm -hmm. For middle school, she was a year older than me. So the middle school she went to, I went to her middle for school. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when we went to high school, we did have, like, a little separation of our own lives, but we never, like, fell out of touch. Mm -hmm. Then we just so happened, like, uh, in our daughter years end up living on the same block again. Yeah, yeah. That's, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, ask the homie for real. She know everything about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's dope, though. Like, when you can find, like I said about my producer a lot, because he got the same homie since they was in the sandbox. So it's like, it's, that's cool when you can keep that same circle in junk. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool having new friends, but it's cool growing up with somebody who you know a family, you know saying, vice versa yeah. and shit like that. So, you know, that's what's up. That's dope. Four years old. God damn, y'all. <laughs> that's a long time. I ain't going to ask how old you are and shit, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's a new year. It's 2024. We already spoke on, like, you about to have your first leading role. But talk about last year. Like, how was 2023 for you? The ups, the downs. Like, how was that for you? 2023 was very, uh, it was very busy and very exciting. I did a lot of auditions, mm -hmm. and I didn't get a lot of parts that I did audition for. Mm -hmm. But then I was presented opportunities. And audition for those parts because mm. what's for you will, you know, will always be for you. No offense. So it was kind of like I wasn't like disappointed when I got those notes because the yes that came, I was like, no, nah, this is this is what I'm talking yeah, about anyway. Yeah, you know, yeah. so um, that was great. Mm. Um, I started working on my mental health mm. really, really seriously before I, you know, get real, real big. I want to make sure I'm straight in the head. For sure, for sure. Was there anything that you discovered that you might be like? Like, might be fucked up about or Ooh. might haven't got over or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can, can you speak on it? Speak on it? Because <laughs> you're like, yeah, hell yeah. Like, um, okay, I'll just say one thing. Mm -hmm. I've been saying, you know, as black people, we don't go to therapy. Mm -hmm. And I've been telling myself I was going to go, so I finally started that. Mm -hmm. That was a journey. Like, I was, like, fighting myself. Like, I ain't going today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I procrastinated until I was like, okay, I'm going to finally go. Mm. But that was hard. No, that was for sure. hard for myself. I think it was like a more pride thing mm. than anything. Yeah. Now, is your, uh, the therapist, was they black, white, oh, man, black. woman? Oh, African-American, female. That's all I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, because you want somebody as close to mm -hmm, you as possible. Mm -hmm. Did it take time for you like really like re releasing? Because like, I know a lot of times, I ain't never been in therapy, but I just think about like they trying to get to know you and... And then you go and go off what you give out. So, like, what, did it take a, a while for you to, like, just 
let them know about secrets or shit that you ain't told nobody else? Oh, yeah, it's still stuff that you <laughs> You still got some secrets you ain't saying. <laughs> now, is that you ain't saying that because you're afraid what she might unlock? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know what's I know what's locked up. <laughs> mm-hmm. There, mm-hmm. Yep. I hope you listen to this therapist. Unlock it. <laughs> get get it. Get her good. Like, but I, no, I always say I wanted to go see a um, a therapist. Like, and I felt like my little brother should too, because our mom had passed when we when we was kind of younger. So it's like sometimes like you go through that and you not know you fighting demons that you need to go ahead and really talk to somebody outside your family and friends. No, seriously. Yeah, you just no, need somebody else's opinion. You're gonna be like, all right, I agree with you. I'm the first one in my family that's doing it from mm-hmm. generations of humans. Mm-hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. they somebody, you know, all the tech is if I could just get one person to do it, not with me doing it, but just seeing them seeing the results and them wanting to do it for themselves because you can't mm-hmm. make nobody want to want better for themselves no for sure for sure you're going to be that person like you said the first person and you, you just hope that somebody back you know what sierra doing it. let me go ahead and see what that be about yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. now was there anything personally like for you last year that you might have discovered about yourself that you didn't even know like i was capable of doing this or i need to work on this to be better in my craft like how was that for you uh yeah mm. The reason why I'm working on my mental is because as an actress, you have to be the character, which mm-hmm. means if you have to be the character, that means you have to come out of the character as well. Mm-hmm. So some things or some roles might put you in a mindset and it might be harder to get out of that than other ones. Yeah. So I want to make sure that I am aware of my triggers and I'm aware of what affects me mentally. Mm-hmm. So I'm not messed up in, in yeah. the crazy people home at the no, end of the day. Sure. Hell yeah, I see it went crazy. Yeah, because that's serious. No, for sure. No, facts, facts, facts. Because I heard a lot of uh, actors and actresses say like they play a role and they were so invested into that role that they, they was that person after the shit was over with. Yeah, because so I think like, get like that. Tupac with Juice, that nigga became Bishop and he was just like nigga became an asshole. Like he said he had to be into that character and just really be that type of person. Like he couldn't break out of it until after the movie was over. But shit, he was still stuck in that in that role. But Tupac was like a good, a good actor just because he, that motherfucker had so many sides to him that like it was believable everything he did. So you never knew like if it was real or fake because that nigga could do whatever. Like that nigga tough as hell, damn poor justice. That nigga soft as hell. Like you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I ain't gonna say soft as hell, but you know it was his softer side. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. his range. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now when you, going into this year, what were some things like? Of course, like we said, you know what I'm saying earlier, the new role, you know, being a lead lady. But what were some things that you was looking for in 2024 that you wanted to go ahead and just you know, personal and, and career-wise that you wanted to just go ahead and, you know, make bigger and accomplish for yourself? Uh, I want to be in different states. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you can't just be moving from state to state. Mm-hmm. So I have planned, because you make a plan, God go laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. I have planned to go to... Uh, California for like three months, network out there, and do the same as well in mm. uh, ATL. Okay. But it's been postponed, which is okay. Mm-hmm. Stack up some more money because that is not cheap. Yeah. But that's been challenging yeah. because I've been putting all my play money away. Mm. And whew, <laughs> I didn't know how much I played outside. <laughs> <laughs> See, I play money was good. Oh. Taking out that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I thought money grew on trees, apparently. Yeah. yeah. But luckily, you ain't got no kids, right? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you good then. Because that, yeah. that might be out. That motherfucker. Oh, you get it. A... You, you broke. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, yeah. Prolong on that shit as long as you can. I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> now, I did see that um, on a previous uh, podcast you was on, you were saying, like, oh, you want to eventually move away from Detroit. Uh-huh. You just want to have property here. Uh-huh. So, how soon do you want to make that happen? I have property here. Oh, no. I'm saying, how soon do you want to make that happen by not living here? Oh, <laughs> yeah. like it just come back to Shoot, visit. by next year. <laughs> by next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just because you want to go somewhere else. Or you feel you want to, you know? Because sometimes with I, I see with the you know, actors in the city, they might don't want to be like, all right, you a Detroit actor. Like you want to step out and do something bigger. Is that the reason why you want to move, or you just don't want to be in this bitch no more? Oh no, I'm a traveler. I grew up a traveler. I've been traveling since I was four years old. Mm. So. um I always said that I was going to move to Florida, mm. and then I, then when I started this career, my dad's from California, mm. grew up in California okay. for a couple of years. I said I wanted to go out there, so that's the reason why I want to go out there mm. 
to LA. Yeah. On top of this, it's just like they both like mesh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but Florida, uh, that's like a second home to me. Like it just feel like home more than this feel like home. Mm. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> a. I don't like the cold. Yeah. People be having attitudes. I just have to ignore a lot of stuff. Like, it's just too much to be going on. Yeah. But with that cold shit, we always get like that. Like, and we, I hate it. Every I've been time. In, uh, in Detroit for a long time. I stay in Texas for a little bit. But, like, every time I get cold, man, I got to get the fuck out of here. Like, every time. Like, we ain't used to it by now. Like, I'm never going to get used to it. I'm never. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Now, sticking on movie, movies, if you had to give last year a movie title, what would it be? <laughs> the Awesome <Ultimate> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> A lot happened. A lot of a lot of life was created last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you said the ultimate surprise. Yeah, the ultimate surprise last year. Okay, okay. What's your day to day life away from music? Like, what do you what do you enjoy? You know, what I'm saying I know you like cooking gumbo and shit. But what you like doing and shit besides cooking on your new stove? How she? Who told you how to new stove? You know, you know, man. That's one of my favorite gifts in the world. Okay. <laughs> Um, That's when you know you get older when little shit like that. Nigga, a new uh, couch, nigga, you be excited like, damn, I can't wait to sit down. Oh my god. Um, what <laughs> do I do day to day? I read a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I like to study. I have a couple of friends that I just like go hang with. Mm -hmm. um, I like to eat, so we'll go out to eat. That's my thing. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. What's your go to like spot to go eat? At? Okay, so I because I do go out a lot. Mm -hmm. I pick a, a pick a spot every year. Dang, fifty two seasons was last year. What's this year? <laughs> I don't have one for this year because I've been putting my play money up. Can the way a dude order food turn you off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like with the way you order, like niggas still getting tenders and fries? No, that's <laughs> not that's, that's not what would turn me off. What would, what, what would it be? If he don't order nothing. Yeah. That turns me off. <laughs> you so you have you had the situation y'all going date and that nigga like he know he can't afford that shit so he let you order. And that is why it turns me up because he tried to make it seem like he, it, it was just like, you know what, you should have just, it was never even my idea. Why would you set yourself up for this? Yeah. It was very, um, I could tell. <laughs> now, and my, what if I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I, my, this is the first day I just want to get to know you, but I ain't about to take you to no five-star restaurant. I'm going to take you to Chili's. You know what I'm saying? Are oh, you, Are you geez. tripping? Chili's, you know, Applebee's, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not tripping. Oh, you keep buffet, like you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. <laughs> Would you go back on a second date though? <laughs> Man, you ain't tripping though, but you you gonna continue on though afterwards. I'm appreciative mm -hmm. of everything anybody does for me. Yeah. I ain't went on first date in so long, I don't even know I wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah, first date. I don't I don't know. My first dates be kinda Yeah. Over the top. Damn. So <laughs> it's like that's your first day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Our first day was I ain't tripping. Shit. We gonna have a good time. You gonna laugh and everything. Yeah, for sure. For I'm sure. Go. <laughs> I don't even know where our first day was. Like where we went. Like I don't even know. That shit. Cause like I said, it, it, that's a challenge. Like that first impression is a challenge. So you don't want to fuck up. Especially if you really like that person. Like damn, I gotta make sure I think about this shit. Or you can go, you know what I'm saying, take him, let's go to the museum, something cheap or some shit. Something yeah, just talk. Like you can take him to the library. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. You <laughs> know how dope. expensive the library is? I mean, not the, a bookstore, not the library, mm -hmm. a bookstore. For sure, no, that's dope. It's something, it got to be something different because the same shit, everybody going out to eat. You got to do something that the, the next nigga ain't going to do. You want to know what? This is the problem. What's up? My friends, my female friends, mm -hmm. they treat me really, really, really really good mm. so you're not even competing with a date that a nigga took me on man dog <laughs> that's why i'm glad i ain't I'm glad my I friends they treat me like i be like oh my god like how is it how are they gonna compete with this yeah, see, that's the problem it's too much competition because <laughs> now I'm my going, friends yeah, I, 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 that's with how you. that's what they feel like i'm worth you mm -hmm. know so if that's what and this is a collective so it's not just like one two three mm -hmm. four see, that's a my whole. friends do do for me that's like, a whole other conversation we can have but i ain't gonna even splash yeah. that shit. <laughs> it's just like because yeah relationship it, it's a challenge now like it ain't easy at all because like you said you got your homies you got your girls you got n niggas who your ex and stuff like you in competition with everybody down there when you when you when you trying to you know saying get a, a young lady you're in like, competition with that, they yeah. think about everything like so everything you do is like how much he spent how much he do what he got on you know saying what he smell like what he wearing where's car like it's pressure and then I hate when niggas say don't fuck while you broke. Nigga, I'm horny. <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck about two hours in my pocket. I'm still gonna try to fuck, nigga. Like, 
some what? Niggas, some niggas, I hate that shit. To me, that's dumb. Nigga, don't try to fuck until you get your mind right, your, your money right. No, nigga. I'm broke, but I'm still trying to work on this money, but I still want some ass. But you sending broke energy. So fuck whoever it. you. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It might take a couple years for you to get your money right. You might be in school. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I disagree with you, dog. I ain't going to say a name, but if you horny, nigga, you horny, nigga, broke or not. How you? So what? My broke energy ain't gonna rub off on you. You got a good job. It sure ain't. I ain't gonna be <laughs> over there. <laughs> that's a that's, we got. That's, we got that got to be a topic, dog. Like for real, some shit, dog. But off of that, <laughs> talk about the last time you cried. Cause you seem kind of you know you give me a little thug. The vibes. last time I cried. But no, no, no. It can't be anything to do with death, though. Damn. <laughs> uh. Okay. Last time I, last time I cried. When that nigga took you out and then had a, <laughs> didn't eat. No, that did not make me cry. <laughs> no, last time you cried though, something it could be, uh, you know, a movie and stuff like that. I I cried the other day. I ain't gonna lie, I shared a tear because it's is uh, I ain't talk about this girl a lot. I would, uh, she a blind little girl on uh, social media, and it's just like her her life, her enjoyment of life. Like she thirteen, just she not feeling bad for herself. Her mom got her doing shit that. A person that could see, you know what I'm saying, could do and stuff like just I watch her videos a lot. I'm not gonna lie, just cause like damn, this little girl is full of life. So it got me a little emotional. Okay. Okay, I know last time I cried. Mm. Uh one of the co co stars from the Dirty D posted, um, not posted, she had a billboard in New York Times Square. Mm -hmm. And when I was looking at it and I seen my name, I said, So I never been in New York, but my name is out there, my <laughs> face out there, I shed a a couple tears off of that. That was different. Like yeah. that was that was huge for me personally. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's dope as hell. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me what's what was your first adult decision? That really sh it's like I'm out here living, I'm not and my mom crib, my dad crib no more, like I'm living life as a adult and got made these adult decisions and these moves. My first adult decision, I think, when I was about twenty two. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in the apartment at first, but I had the choice of getting the, another apartment and paying a larger rent because it was upgraded mm -hmm. or <laughs> <laughs> um, getting the home, mm -hmm. which was very, uh, we had a lot of legal things with doing that. Mm -hmm. And I chose that. Yeah. And that taught me a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that, that was the first step. That was the first time you felt like I'm really making, I'm out here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm And that decision is how I am, is like a foundation portion of how I'm able to do what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Because if I didn't do that, then, shoot, that'd have been hard. Be, that'd be hard. Yeah, no, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. My, I think my first adult, adult decision was just deciding to have a, a kid, just going with it. I was, what, 19, about to be 20? So it's like, and when he, that little that yeah, little nigga, that little nigga came <laughs> out, it's like, damn, like it's like life, like, like that shit, like damn. Now this little nigga's about to be a senior next year, like that shit. That's when life really hit you hard, like, cause it ain't about you no more. It's about you guys take care of somebody for the rest of your life. Not till they eighteen for the rest of your life, you gotta take care of your kid. Oh yeah, you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For the rest that, of their life, now, because I need, I need my mama, my daddy, the morning now, and I'm that, no, you gonna, <laughs> up there. For sure, hello. Like advice, life advice, all that stuff. Like you gonna always need your parents, dog. No matter what, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was my first adult decision. Is like deciding to be like, of course it wasn't my decision, but like being a father was my decision because a lot of niggas just you know don't fuck with it and get yeah. out the way. Like yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was my first adult decision. That shit was that shit was hard at first. Like being eight, nineteen, twenty, like. You don't know how to change diapers, how to feed, like when they hungry, all that shit. You gotta learn everything, though. So bless your heart. What What's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? What would I tell the? Okay, and what's something that I wanted to be that I? Yeah, like some shit when you was young. You know how you get you got those little dreams. Oh, like, that want, people don't know. Yeah. Like as a mass don't know. Mm hmm Um, a pediatrician. For real. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I love kids. Yeah. So why? What's What stop you from doing that as you got older? Uh, I think I learned too much about the medical field. I don't agree how they uh, deal with things. Mm. And, yeah, I was not wrong with those little things that I knew. Mm. Turned into bigger things as I got older. I'm like, yeah. No, for sure. Hell no, yeah. I don't want to be a part of that. Now, growing up, we already said, you know, you come from a two-household home, yeah. two-parent household. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mom and dad. 
Talk about growing up. I'm Carson. You from the West Side? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you did some research. It's, you know what I'm how you find? You can find stuff out like this about people. <laughs> but just just talk about growing up. You, you know, say going to Cast Tech. You know, what I'm saying you got siblings. You got a sister, I know. Yeah, I got a sister and a brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just talk about how it was growing up for you. Like how you know, saying how was it being a young Sierra? Ah, uh, okay. Everything was, you know, la 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 land until mm. like my sister started kind of like not imitating me. But if I do something, she feel like it's okay for her to do it. So mm. at twelve, they was like, "Oh, you gotta be a good influence, and you can't do this, and you can't." I said, "Who? Why?" Mm. Mm -mm. So I kind of like accept the responsibility at a very young age. Mm. I ended up having a job at fourteen. Mm. Um, I was kind of like, after 12, I kind of like went from like a kid to not an adult because I wasn't paying <laughs> bills, yeah. but I was a very responsible person. Like I'm watching this person, kids and doing this and mm. picking people up from school and all this other stuff, whatever. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. I like responsibility. Mm. Now looking at your mom and dad being together, you know, saying growing up in the house of love. Was that something that you was like, damn, I can't, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I want my life to be. Because, like, you see a lot of young ladies in broken homes and they looking for that dude that they was missing in their life because their dad wasn't around. So did you look at it like, man, that, that's, that was a, a good, you know what I'm saying, representation to see your mom and dad together and that's something that you wanted to, you know, have when you get older? It was probably too good. Shit, she was <laughs> telling me I'm never going to find no nigga like my daddy that do my mama like my daddy. I'm like, what? Yeah. The devil is a lie. Yeah. My mama told me he out there somewhere. Yeah. But um Yeah, they 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 set the bar very, very high. Yeah, too high or just Um, I don't think it's too high because there's other stuff out here in this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um higher than average. Yeah, yeah. You no. know, and no. people don't see that, so they don't know how serious it is for me mm -hmm. they be thinking it's a hoopla you know ball game over here and then they were like oh no yeah it's yeah, serious yeah. no for sure yeah <laughs> is, your, is your pressure bringing a dude home to your parents oh yeah is it, is it expecting like all right nigga, come here correct especially now mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah because like i guess say i had a lot of guests on here that you know dad was around so they like man they've been fucked up they whole time because they see their mama get dead dirty and then you you get that 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 same type of nigga once you get older because you don't you ain't seen good you know what I'm saying you just seen just fucked up shit go around so wind up coming three sixty so shout out to the motherfucking households out there with, with mom and dad at the crib is doing something you know what I'm saying sending the bar high so you went to Cast Tech you know what I'm saying unfortunately uh just I beg your pardon <laughs> I was so recent so much shit my school was trash but <laughs> talk about that like when you you know what I'm saying did you, your dreams as a as a young and going to them high school doors and stuff like that. Okay. Because I know acting didn't come about until like a couple years ago. Right. Yeah. Okay, so going into cast, I've always been like an artistic type kid. Mm -hmm. But my dad had went to cast and I'm a daddy's girl. Yeah, so it's a family thing. Yeah, when he found out I went to cast, he was like extremely excited. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I wanted to go to DSA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I went to cast. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of put me more into like... <sighs> That's why I'm like always into books and always want to study and stuff because that's what Cass did. But it took me away from my creative side. So that's how I kind of like got put on a hold. And I kind of like not got through into the business world. Mm -hmm. I've always been an entrepreneur. But that's where I have put most of my focus in in my early adult years. Mm -hmm. um, that's how Cass was really good in teaching me how to study. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, afterwards, did your oh, parents man. like force college or like was college in the picture afterwards? Oh, college is a requirement in our family. Yeah. You at least got to try it. Yeah, um, yeah got to yeah. try it. Yeah. You at least got to try it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, all of us did that. Yeah. I didn't finish, though. <laughs> is something you want to go back on? Because I said I've been going back for like 20 years. Yes. Um. Actually, when I hit 40, I, I'm going to law school. Mm -hmm. And what else did I say? Oh, and I'm going to... Uh, Take some classes for uh, architecture. Okay. What made 40 the target year? Um, I think I would 
rather sit home at that time and would look <laughs> and <laughs> be open to reading everything that I'm going to have to read mm-hmm. at that age. I'm still in not party mode no more. That's over with. I'm too tired for that. Oh yeah, that's it. But yeah, party mode different now. Ain't my different. mind is more focused on my acting career at the aspect. Mm-hmm. And then by that, you know, I'm already gonna have a name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah, know, that's dope. And getting on that, you know, you you touched on starting the you know the whole acting thing a couple years ago. What was the thing that like you know saying one to you know you did you say you did some um some roles where you were just an extra you know saying spend all that time on the set ain't talking or whatever like my man said he was throwing money ain't saying shit but talk <laughs> about like when did that when did acting become like the thing for you like this is what I want to do. The truth is acting became this is what I want to do you know we are at a point of life social drinking or whatever <laughs> when I said. I'm not, I ain't going out before I got to do this and show up in front of these people. I ain't drinking nothing. And I like stood on it. Mm. That's when I know like, oh yeah, this is what I want to do. Mm. Um, I express myself in my acting. Mm. I'm not every role that I've played, but I'm probably expressing a emotion in a different way that I probably need to get out. So it's kind of like a release for me as well. Mm. Um, I had no idea I was gonna be no actress. I tell you. So it just much. came out. It so, just came out. Now it just came out. But once you was in it, when did you love it? Like, was it a certain role, certain movie, like that you like? You know, I I know I got in this motherfucker by mistake a little bit, but I love this shit now. Uh, it wasn't a Pacific role mm-hmm. because in the beginning I wasn't getting major roles. It was my dedication to want to be the best actress I could be so mm-hmm. when I seen like oh I'm purchasing books oh I'm saving up money for classes oh I'm doing this and I was doing it unconsciously and then when I went on the outside looking in I said oh you ain't never put this much a type of effort into a, yeah. something you mm-hmm. know and it was like not that it's easy everything just flow like I'm going to this networking event and meet these people and I needed these people to do this and mm-hmm. then I you know it just was like Everything, nothing in my life has ever went aligned like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when I know. Okay. Now, with me being a podcast, I study other, you know, podcast hosts and stuff, other shows. Um, me being a basketball coach, I look at other coaches. Who do you look at as far as, like, acting that you can, like, all right, I'm going to take a little piece of this, take a little piece of that. I'm studying this person. I'm studying that person. Like, is anybody that you look out there to make you make your make yourself better? I've studied everyone, mm-hmm. every actor, every director, every producer. Mm-hmm. I've studied everyone. I probably took a little bit of something from everybody. Yeah. Now, stick on that. I had a guest on here who said some of these acting classes be full of shit. Some of them do. He said that the acting uh, coach never even been to acting class itself. He just making some money by saying, hey, I've been in the movie. This is a class. Come to it. How do you feel about like acting classes? I, I know you probably partake in some. Like, talk about acting class and like, like knowing the right person to pick. That's going to make you better. Well, um, I'm sure there's a description of what they're going to teach you as far as that. So I guess mm-hmm. it depends on what you want to learn as far mm-hmm. as it. If you're a beginner and you don't know nothing about it, maybe you should take that class. Mm-hmm. If you're not a beginner, then you will need a, uh, what, a, a, a immediate, I don't know what's, how to go, <laughs> you know, a higher, yeah, intermediate <laughs> class. And mm-hmm. then, you know, then you'll need the next level. Then you need the next level. So... Um, I guess it really depends on that. Uh, yeah, I took Mula Sims uh, acting okay, class, and in the beginning, I, I didn't know none of that information. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, I learned all of that. Yeah. <laughs> um, because that's what he was saying. Like a lot of these, uh, it's still insight. I wouldn't say that the classes are bullshit. It's just probably what they're not expecting. You, they probably expecting like, okay, you do this, 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 this. Now you're an actor. That's yeah, not even that's how what it goes. Too, like you go to classes, then you gonna get in the movie off real. Yeah, no, that's not how it goes. Yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah. really, you know, it's it's techniques and it's like, you know, not procedures, but it's just ways that you go about getting yourself into developing your character. Mm-hmm. So yeah, now. Uh, you got your first leading role in uh, Let Me Be. That's a series. Yeah, that's coming soon. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you feel like it took too long for this to happen, or is is the right time? Oh no, it was the right time. It was perfect timing. Yeah, it was. It happened. My birthday month. That was a birthday gift to myself. Yeah, 
from so, God. Mm hmm. We praise him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so talk about the excitement. Like talk about and then just talk about the role itself. Like I know you're playing alongside my homie uh, Tristan. So just yeah, just talk about that and just like and touch oh, on the role a little bit. That role. Yeah. Woo. I know it's like kind of based on true events. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's really just showing how us women be out here fighting battles on a day to day, and so many things could just happen. Like one thing on top of another thing on top of another thing, and she's just showing her perseverance in the whole mm-hmm. matter. Um. Yeah. That role. <laughs> it's like it's really gonna like do, do is that role gonna write at this is is up. Like you'll be like, damn, like see her really show her motherfucking chops in this mud. Like she really the truth for real. Uh I put my I put a lot of uh heart into that role. Mm-hmm. Um I'm nothing like that that person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I had to dig dig deep and mm-hmm. pull out those emotions from other things for me. Mm-hmm. I do think that's this the one, like yeah. this the one. When can we be looking forward to that movie? I mean that series. You said when? when yeah. When? I don't know. This year, I don't this know year. when oh, exactly. Shit. Hell yeah. Soon. Now, which one do you prefer? You you did movies, you did TV series with Dirty D and, and and this one now. Which one do you prefer, or which one is better for you? For me. Yeah. Which one you feel like is it might be easier? or This is the route because you know, I'm quite sure as that series is different from the whole movie shit. Like shooting was. I think that depends on uh, a lot of different moving parts. Mm-hmm. Um, like who's filming it? Mm-hmm. You know the whole production crew that would definitely determine. Mm-hmm. Uh, that determine a lot right there. For sure, for sure, for sure. Is it a a, um, a character that you hate to this day when you watch a movie? We was talking about like a lot. Of these, like we were talking about Tristan when he played Scott. Niggas hate that nigga. My man's who playing Sabi Seconds, they hate him. Like, nigga, it's a character. Who is, is it a character? I, I still hate Chauncey from Mr. Society because he, <laughs> nigga, he a whole ass nigga. But who, who is somebody that you still hate? As and he, he just a character. Like, everybody hated Tyreek until he got his own little spinoff. Like, then they start respecting Tyreek a little bit. It's old, so I don't even want to bring that up. I know, it ain't nobody personal in the city. It's just, I it's just, know, yeah. okay. It's a movie you watch like, man, God damn it, Taraji, why you let that nigga Snoop in the house? That's, okay, it's Snoop Dogg <laughs> from Baby Boy. Like, I still, and I love Snoop, and my mama love him, but I still to this day, like, mm-mm. Man. Mm-mm. Because I, I want to make a list and of, like. that's so old. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make a list of the niggas I just hated, like, in movies, like. Why you want to make a list? Because that's just something, like, I hated Chauncey on May Society. Um. It wasn't any ladies I hated though. I'm quite sure some the ladies I hated who played some roles, but that's the one that I hated. That nigga, like he was the first snitch. <laughs> like nigga, you. Oh, I, I kind of like um, I kind of like uh oh, and mama on, on Boys in Hood, cause she was mad cause uh at, uh, at, uh what's his name Doughboy just cause his dad wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? So I I ain't like her ass. Fuck her. Oh, <laughs> it's like hey, it's a lot of people like man, fuck this nigga man like, but Tyreek. He was a whole ass nigga. He got to, his sister killed like damn. But then he he made it up in the um when he did the spinoff. Like I, I fuck with Tyreek. So you ain't must you ain't, you ain't got no hating. You got some hating you a little bit, man. Ooh. Is any Detroit character I hated? I, Scotia was just funny. I didn't hate that nigga. He was funny as hell. Maybe because I know Tristan. Yeah. It, I wasn't like that for Scott, but Jesus, whoever he is in real life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's met the hell out of her ass in that car, boy. That's just. <laughs> Harris said, we're leaking. Like, damn, Scott. You tripping, bro. Now, your your favorite movie, you could sub in for any character. Classic movie. Who would you sub in for and play that role? <laughs> yeah, that one right there. <laughs> Felicia. No. <laughs> no. What's up, um... I like Jurassic Park. Yeah. You were playing that movie? I wasn't, yes. yeah, I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, I know that's why I was laughing today. It's not going to believe this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have, you would have been in Jurassic yeah. Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm <laughs> coming for them. They still dropping. They shouldn't have been dropping how they been dropping. I thought they yeah. was, you know. Mm-mm. All right, well, on the hood movie side, what would you who Hood would you movie side. For? Hood classics. That's a good question. I want to be Cuban. I, was, I think I would have made his character a little bit better. 
don't know. No, no. What was what, what's our girl? Uh, Cause we we was talking about that Jello Friday, dog. Um, damn. What was the girl? His uh, his his girl who was cheating on Michelle Craig and shit, dog. I forgot, but her her her. Oh. No, her role, like, nigga, like, I want, I want to see. Oh, I'd be Miss Parker. Miss Parker, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be hell yeah, all there cutting grass and shit, watering the grass. Hell yeah, I'm quite sure you ain't got a little midget nigga, but <laughs> you change that nigga a little bit. Rest of, no, I don't think he does. But, but yeah, Miss Parker, no, hell yeah, hell yeah. Miss Parker from Friday, yep. Miss and Miss Parker for, uh, look good forever. Pam, man, what? That's Pam Grill, right? No, no, I'm tripping. <laughs> No, all right. Well, Pam, well, Pam Gray look good forever, though. But no, Miss Parker wow. look good forever. Neil, Neil Long. Everybody in that movie, though, there's some, some bad bitches in that movie, though. Why did I say Pam Greer? <laughs> What's her name? Oh, no. I got to look Miss Parker's name up, though. But now, on your comedy side, I heard you want to be a comedian. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, like. And I heard that you you might be hitting the stage. What's the hate? The comedy stage. Who? Who's? So talk about that. Who's giving like, you this information? And when, and, and when would that happen? Like, can you see that being like something later on down the line? I'm going to just, I'm going to do it out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? Yep. Uh, you, do you got set already? Like, like you got a show already? Like how you want it to look? Mm, to, a, to a certain extent, yep. Mm -hmm. who, who, do you, who do you fuck with on the comedy side? Everybody. Yeah, from the city though. Like, I... I believe like who I personally fuck with. Yeah, who you like, 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 your, like your people? Like, I like Martin. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Jack Funny be having me dying. I could be having a horrible day. Yeah. <laughs> Retarded ass. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. So no, no. What is the difference between like would you do skits or you would just you'll be on stage or you'll do both? Cause some of these skit niggas can't do no stage work. I want to do stage work. I want to. Yeah. Uh, I like to talk to people, so I want to talk to. I want to. I want to talk to people. I want to see this. Do you gotta get you? you <laughs> like I want to be a part of this. Like when you do that shit, like that'd be because I, I, I love comedy. Like so, I would love to see like if you gonna you know what I'm saying what you gonna do. You gotta go out there and do a punchline, do some open mics and shit. Man. I don't know. That's, that's why I'm a. I'm gonna just start popping out. I don't want to tell people. You if you there, you there. If you ain't, you ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the dirty D. You feel like that was the the the, the shit that really got your face out card out there? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like as to the. <laughs> the mask. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Pass Detroit for sure. Yeah. Why did I say Pam Greer? I thought I, don't know. I gotta look this lady up though. Oh and, and, and now I'll keep seeing Pam know. Greer. <laughs> Damn, Miss Parker dog. Give me your dream role with your dream leading guy. Like how would your dream movie be? My dream movie? Yeah. I wanna do what? Um like a Marvel movie. Mm hmm Like a, I wanna be a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> what be your superpower? Oh. Oh, by the way, her name is Kathleen Bradley. That was uh, that was Miss Parker. Yeah, uh, I might do a side by side because she like motherfucking pound grip, but I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, so Marvel movie. What's your, what's your what's your superpower? Uh, teleportation. Okay, who is your leading superhero man? Mm. The Rock. The <laughs> Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so we, hey, so in the future we you playing in Marvel movies. Do you want to see more like more um different like, roles in the city and not be like the same type of movies? Do you want to see different shit like a, a superhero movie, like just some different shit in the city? Like you know, what I'm saying we got the we got the people out here. You know, what I'm saying make it make something different happen. I like a challenge, so mm -hmm. I like when people challenge themselves. So of course, yeah. Got down to rock you in this bitch teleportation. And, uh, oh man. When it's all said and done, how you want to see yourself as a, as an actress? Like, when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. What's success for you as a, as an actress? Like, at the end of the day. To make my brand as an actress so worldwidely well known, mm -hmm. anything that I put my name attached to will be successful. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be a legend. Mm -hmm. I'm not just doing this and gonna fall off. Like I got. Huge plans. Yeah, niggas so. gonna niggas gonna call me for that motherfucking Pam Grish. <laughs> <laughs> niggas go, go, go. Do people come to you for uh, advice and they see you doing movie roles? Cause I did say that too. Like a lot right now, the movie scene in the in the in the music scene in Detroit is is going crazy. So a lot of niggas is doing it just because that's the popular thing to do. 
are people really coming to you for advice like hey how can i get on what can i do where can i go oh yeah what's your advice to those to those young actresses and actresses uh so first i just tell them to invest in a class and mm -hmm. then i would give them information that i use the same exact information that i went through mm -hmm. and then most people don't go to it. I do have a few people that have actually, maybe like six people that went to the class after, excuse me, mm. me informing them of it. Because, um, you know, some people want to just do it just to do it. And then some people got a passion for it, you know, and probably was scared to do it. And I see people do it and want to do it. Ain't no telling. I don't know nobody business. Mm. Um, but I'm coming out with not a, a book or nothing, but... A little thing, and it's gonna be free too. I'm not even gonna charge nobody for it because yeah. people are not gonna keep asking me the same question. And I sit there <laughs> and write right a there. whole paragraph of exactly what to do. And then forgot who I told that to. Got to write it again. I said, "Oh no." Nah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna get something it's hard copy electronic mm -hmm. for people. Is there anything that you would do differently with your start in this whole acting game? Anything I would do differently? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe something that would have, you know, I ain't going to say necessarily take, took your career out quicker, but mm -hmm. just something that you, maybe mistakes you made at the beginning that you like, you know what, damn, if I knew that, I wouldn't have even did that. Mm. If I knew this, I would have did this. Uh, no. Mm. I say that because I learned from everything. So if it wasn't what I wasn't up to par for, I'd be like, now I know what to look out for when I get up out there and, the, you know, out there further. Mm in the career mm. so yeah. mm, nah mm -mm, i need all my little things no, for sure. making the band i know you probably know about making the band back in the day mm -hmm. diddy had his band you know what I'm saying little dream group you're making the band as far as acting class i mean i i i, I, I think, uh you know i ain't gonna say class but your top five roles in the movie you and four other people who would it be it could be women men Directors, whatever, but it's you and four other people that's gonna make this movie. Mm. Y'all make main characters. That's all I wanna say. The main characters of the movie. Main characters. Yeah, you and four other people. Okay. And we could do it. Let's do two. Let's do two separate. Let's do a Detroit one, and let's do the the uh, the injury one. All right. Detroit. So me and four other people. Yep. Okay. I love Nunu. Okay. Deborah. Uh, two more. Let me pick two two males. Murder pain. Mm. And come on, show cuz. Let's it. see who else do them do what I need them to do. Oh, Diesel. Diesel. Yeah. Oh, yeah try Diesel. I was talking to Diesel last week, though. We gotta make it happen, cuz. <laughs> that nigga like the maddest nigga in the world too. Like he said he cool, he just be like mad like damn, this nigga mad. <laughs> now talk about your the, the other list. Hey, this list might be all women. <laughs> <laughs> you, it could be a whole set off part too. <laughs> Shit, fuck it. You and four others. Angela Bassett. Mm hmm Taraji. Mm hmm Zoe, Zoe. Oh yeah, Zoe's in that. Yeah. <laughs> and I got one more, right? Yep. One more. You, Angela, Angela Zoe. Jolie. An Angela and Jolie. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Ooh. That, that's another character we talking about. Set off that I hated. Uh, um, the the lady who didn't rob the bank, <laughs> but she wanted the money. Like I need that money. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> like, I hate you. You ain't do nothing right. <laughs> I'm making a list of my most hated characters, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, outside of the comedy, what's some, and outside of writing a book and stuff, because you don't want niggas keep asking the same questions, what's something new that you want to start, like, within the next couple of years? Anything new that you want to start? Uh, yeah. You want me to say that out loud? Hell, yeah. <laughs> so, I read my podcast. Let me get your oh, okay. I got something. Um, I'm writing a children's book, a series oh. of children's books. Oh shit, that's dope. Hell yeah, what, yeah to anything, get a public school in. Okay, anything is it? What is it about in particular? Like anything? uh, early childhood, just things that they need to know for early childhood, like you know ABCs, yeah. colors, and things like that. I'm gonna do language, mm. um, 
And I want to do symbols, like uh, bank symbols for yeah. kids as well. That's dope. Man. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when I was on your Instagram page, it said singing. You 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 you, you tap into the music? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like yeah. I really want to like look at like damn. I want to do. She got some music somewhere where I could just play it and shit and just fuck her up. But yeah, you you uh you got a little 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 vocals on you and shit. Yeah, I do. Oh shit! What, what so when we get the music? When we get the project? Ah. Uh... I ain't gonna put you on spot. I'm gonna drop something shit. on my birthday. And birthday, when, when is that? So, August I mean, 14th. All right, we're gonna be on your head now. We're gonna be on your head. If you don't drop now, I'm calling you out. I'm gonna drop it something. August 14th. Yeah. What's up? That made you a Leo? Yes. Oh, God damn it. What? <laughs> Them Leos be crazy, dog. Huh? That's what I heard. My grandma even said, my mama said, my grandma was crazy ass Leo. Last little relationship I was in, yeah. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Everybody say that. <laughs> <laughs> It, so is it gonna be strictly singing? Do you rap? You got bars? I ain't no rapper. Oh, so it's, it's singing. Yeah, shit. I'm gonna just sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be EP, one song. Like what we talking on, on your birthday? Cause I'm August 14th. We checking back. Oh, I and I'm gonna some, play this clip. Like I got some things. It's gonna be more than just a EP. I got a couple of mm. things crackling. So you already got some shit in the work then already, mm -hmm. huh? Oh shit! What's your uh? Do you got a stage name as far as like your artist name? Is it different from you know saying how you go about with the acting? Yes, it is gonna be different. All right, you got anything in mind? Yeah. We gonna thug, be... a little thug and shit. I know. <laughs> how do you even know about that? <laughs> come on, man. Um, make you gotta make you feel comfortable when you come here. <laughs> <laughs> you did some research. Yeah. Okay. Um, see our next. Okay, no, you are. Right. See, no, in my yeah. middle name. Hell yeah. So, look, when the project come out, you got to come here. You're going to have to give us some vocals and some little, you know what I'm saying? Me, me, me. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Got to let us know something. All right, I we, got we, we got some dope people out here, man. We got some dope singers. I love R&B, too. I'm I'm kind of like not fucking with the rap as much just because it'd be the same shit. So, yeah. I'll be on my R&B vibe. You got anybody that you listen to that you fuck with on R&B tip? Or just music in general? Uh, Not right now. I haven't really been listening to, like, Music. I'ma listen to like podcasts and, and. Oh shit! What what, what podcast you fuck with? Cause I fuck with a lot of them. Anything that I should be tapped into? Cause I only be fucking with basically like the male shit. Um. They more about Jesus. Oh okay okay shit. okay. <laughs> so I'm on a journey <laughs> right now. Yeah. Would you Would you ever start a podcast yourself? Oh, see, I want to, but I think I talk way too much. Mm -hmm. I talk too much. That's that's that's, that's a good thing. Shit. <laughs> You know what I don't like about, I ain't gonna say I don't like, but a lot of, um, I do like some of uh, uh, female podcasts, but a lot of times with, when I listen to females on podcasts, they don't hold each other accountable. Like, we'll call a nigga out for some bullshit. They just be like, you know what? She probably was thinking this, or she probably was thinking that. Like, they always, like, they going for them. Like, they, they try to express how they can be right, even though they fucked up and wrong. Oh yeah, no. Uh, we, <laughs> me and my circle, we hold every, we hold each other <laughs> accountable. I'd be like, you know what? I'll call you later because you yeah. done told me about myself, but you were right. <laughs> and then I'd be like, thank you so much for holding me accountable. I really need people like you. Yeah. Would you start some shit with, with with some friends, or would it be by yourself if you did do a podcast? Oh, I'm gonna have to have my friends so we can talk about the stuff we talk about, so y'all yeah. can be hip. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the yeah. conversations we have. Yeah, yeah. Podcast coming soon. EP coming soon. New music. You know what I'm saying? Young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through. What's something that you didn't believe in as a young Sierra? What's something that you believed in as a young Sierra that you don't believe in now? Like, what the fuck was I thinking when I was 18? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe I ooh, thought like that. What was I thinking? Man, 18, you just, you ain't standing on that no more. Mm. <laughs> she was... Cause like for example, I say this a lot. Just, just, just give you an example. At eighteen, I was like, man, I ain't eat no pussy. But, but now, <laughs> I mean, come on, man, come with it. <laughs> uh, just, at eighteen, eighteen, twenty one, some shit that you just wasn't thinking. This some, some shit was a wild shit that you was thinking like, and you look at it, like, what the fuck, man? Okay, did I look at it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, 18, I okay, I thought when I was drinking that I wasn't um, a different person. Yeah. <laughs> now I know. Yeah. I was some different spirits. Yeah. What was so. the 18 year old drink compared to the drink that you drink now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 18 year old drink is bullshit. Okay, my 
when I turned 19, I was a, a Ciroc girl. Yeah. <laughs> Ciroc girl. Now, what's your go-to drink now? Oh, I don't drink. Oh, you don't drink? Okay. Mm -mm. Let's my Water. Water. Yeah. Ice Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, but yeah. When you young, you be drinking some bullshit. You just, we were somebody at Monty house last night. You were drinking to get drunk. Like, yeah, I was just dumb shit. Like, young shit. Like, you had no type of tolerance. Like, all right, <clears throat> I'm just drinking to get a little buzz. Like, <clears throat> niggas was drinking to get fucked up. Now, <clears throat> damn, voice fucked up, damn. <laughs> now, we get towards the end. I got some shit called Too Early, Too Late, or Right on Time. Sex. Was it too early, too late, or right on time? What you talking about? What do you mean? Like having sex. Did you feel like you had it too early, too late, or sex came right on time? Oh, for me and my personal life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right on time. All right, too early, too late, or right on time? Figuring out life. <laughs> Still. I don't say, I wouldn't say too late because there's a lot of things that I didn't do. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to say too late because I got to relearn everything. <laughs> Moving out your parents' house. Too early, too late, or right on time. Too early. I'm sorry, Daddy. Oh, you got. Why you leave so early? Are you just ready to be grown? Trying to prove a point to the humans that I could, I can do it. Yeah. I can do yeah, it. They always fuck you up. He begged me to stay, bribe me with money, everything. I was like, no. Oh, you were tripping. I, yeah, I was retarded. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, why would I? That nigga paying trying you to, to stay prove home. a point. <laughs> trying to prove a point to people. Yeah, fuck that point. Yeah, that was. Are you stupid. gonna pay me to stay? All right, bet. <clears throat> yeah, that was dumb. I ain't even gonna tell y'all how much he was gonna give me. That's Damn, now I want to know. Mm, mm, I gave you a couple rats. I ain't stay here, baby mm, girl. More than a couple. Man. First relationship, too early, too late, or right on time? <laughs> First relationship. Yeah. <laughs> First real relationship. No, First, no, no what's a real shit. relationship? What like you Like, y'all... Y'all y'all spending money with each other, y'all hanging out, y'all doing stuff together. Like, real couple shit. Man, ain't no, too early. I ain't no high school too shit. Early, too, too early. Too early. Too early. All right. Leaving a messed up relationship. Was it too early, too late, or right on time? Too late. I stayed too long. <laughs> All right. You kind of answered this already, but your first leading role as an actor. Too early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. Bet, uh, yeah. Find out Santa Claus wasn't real. Too early, too late, or right on time? Let me tell y'all. I am a little bit delusional. So because I used to get whatever I wrote on that list and it said to Santa, <laughs> mm -hmm. I believed into Santa. Until I ain't get what was on that list no more, which was 16. Oh, shit. People would tell me, I said, well, your Santa Claus ain't yeah, real. Mine's real. Mine real. My mama want me to act and make these cookies and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and do the whole thing. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Now, I got this shit called What's Worse? Your kids catching you having sex or you catching your parents having sex? Your kids catching you having sex. That's worse? Shit, I don't want to see my mom and dad. <laughs> I read my kids catch me. Like, fuck that. <laughs> What's worse? Getting caught by your parents pleasuring yourself or getting caught by your partner pleasuring yourself? Your parents. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> What's worse for a rapper? Like, you look at a rap dude. What's worse? Him wearing fake jewelry or him wearing fake designer clothes? <laughs> <laughs> What's worse for that nigga? What's worse? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Fake clothes. Where he getting that shit from? <laughs> you, can, you can get away with that fake shit a little bit. That them chains be looking kind of stupid when them bitches fake. Big ass block earrings. What's worse, fake jewelry? I got we. I my family got a different type of standard on jewelry. <laughs> What's worse, your man come extra quick? I'm talking about three strokes and out, or he can't get it up at all. He can't get it up at all. <laughs> three strokes was good strokes. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Got you all. Like, ah. What you gonna do with? Mm. Yeah, limp, limpy, limpy, limp. Damn. What's worse, titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? Titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties. So usually it'd be like, huh, it's looking like me in this month. Nipples, nigga. Titties with no Big nipples. Big areolas. <laughs> Titties with no nipples. Titties with no nipples. <laughs> What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again. Being a short nigga with some long ass arms. A short nigga with long arms. That's, that's worse. Or what was the same? Or, or, or being a tall nigga with short arms. 
for being a short nigga with long legs. So you got this part little as fuck, but your legs long as hell. Damn, I think the arms are really tell me yeah. it, like you. Know. He can't give you a hug and shit, nigga. And the bitch puts iron around you like. What's worse, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? <laughs> uh, no crib. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's worse, dying from getting shot or dying from getting stabbed? <laughs> what? They both is bad. It's Shit, take, yeah, but you take bam once ahead, and you stab me. You just <laughs> we gonna have the next question. <laughs> What's worse, somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you the ending? Telling me the ending. Yeah, that's some whole shit. What's worse, losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? Some, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What, which one to the right? ex? That is what? How would, how would that make you feel? Oh my God. Y'all gonna have to put me in a psych home or something because I'm not gonna be able to comprehend it. Man, all right, we got three more. What's worse, find, finding out your parents aren't your real parents or finding out your siblings are adopted? I'm finding out my siblings adopted. That's worse? Shit, fuck that. I want my money. Mom and dad ain't my mom and dad like that. They still my mom and dad. What you Duh. mean? Yeah, all right, for sure. What's worse, finding out your mate cheating through text or in action? Has <laughs> <laughs> that ever happened to you? What? <laughs> no, I'm fucking shit. <laughs> What's worse, finding out through text or in yeah. action? I had some. I didn't find out through text. That shit hurt. Cause then you start just imagining that shit like. What you mean through text? Like somebody I, sent you a text? I, no, I read it? her shit when I was young. My my oh, old was days going. going I seen the shit like. Or seen in a person, which one is which worse? Which one worse, yeah. Cause then you go like, gonna feel hurt, hurt more. Mm -hmm. Oh, in person it's worse. Yeah, I mean that's worse, yeah. But that imagination of mine went crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. All right, last one. What's worse, failing at something or not starting? Not starting. Yeah, yeah you gotta start that shit. Fuck it. Yeah, would you ever? Would you ever um worry or nervous or scared like about a road that you did like and you wasn't good enough or niggas was gonna clown there like the movie wasn't. Up to par how you want it to be. <laughs> like, have you, ever did, have you ever did a movie like this shit gonna be ass? I never did a movie like this, ain't it's gonna be ass, but I did a movie like, um, I'm not too fond of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you rather niggas not watch it? Was it because of performance wise or just because of what it was about or just what was it that you really didn't want niggas really like? It would probably be what it's about. It wouldn't be the performance. It's about the message that it was given out. And I probably yeah. slipped a couple of details like, oh. <laughs> did you watch the movie uh, Sloppy Seconds? Yeah, I did. I heard that that movie got took off Tubi, though, because of that whole dog scene. Oh, sure. I, I believe. Now, if you've seen that, on a, if you've seen that you, you read through your script. Dog, eat my butt. What would you... <laughs> Like, so you want me to pretend, like, would you have just turned that down because you got your dad there? He's like, baby girl, what the fuck are you doing? Like, As an actress, I mean, you, you don't judge your character, so. Mm -hmm. If that was the role. Yeah. That was the role. some backlash, that's what I'm saying, like. I mean, but there's no such thing as bad publicity, so. Yeah. Now, is it any, is it any role you would turn down? Because I had guys on here say they, they wouldn't do uh, no gay scenes. Um, just... Off the strength, you know, saying no dresses and stuff like that. Is there anything that you wouldn't partake in as far as the actress, or are you just good to go because you, you know, what I'm saying you're an actress. You, um, I'm not taking roles where the director is also a, a actress or an actor. Mm -hmm. You feel like it's just too much or something. It's way too much. Yeah. Would you? Do you want to tap into that that directing life? Like you know, what I'm saying get write your own movie. Do I want to tap into that? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind. Okay. Is life finna throw it into me? Yeah. Yeah, pretty soon. For sure. Hell yeah. Get me in there as thug number two. Huh? I wanna be thug number two in that movie. Thug number two? Why yeah. you think it's gonna be thugs in my movie? Alright, well just let me be mailman then. I'm not gonna have ma <laughs> mailman. Mailman number one. That motherfucker. You got your check, man. <laughs> Hell no, no. But no, I appreciate you coming on here. Um, I asked everybody this question and everybody has failed at it. Oh shit. <laughs> if you 
what who would you want to see on this podcast but you gotta help me get that person anybody you know that you want to see on the podcast but you gotta help me get them and nobody has helped me get not one person yet dang for real <laughs> me, everybody, niggas are naming people who was unrealistic like come on now uh who i will in the acting world you, you know what i'm saying rapping real somebody you knows doing some i got somebody coming on this motherfucker into real estate like i don't give a fuck who it is as long as you got some motion Hmm. Oh, got a business. Oh, yes, I do have somebody. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Her name is Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. And she do my eyebrows. Okay. And she she would do really good on this podcast. Kelsey, what? She what? also acts. And she was in the uh, my first acting class as okay. well. Kelsey, what's up, man? Um, she gonna help you get get you on the show. She, we gonna see if she gonna succeed in this or she gonna be failure number five. <laughs> I ain't no failure. I'm a winner. All right, bet, 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 bet. No, I pick somebody. I know this gonna go. If I gotta bring her myself, for sure. No, I'm a winner. I, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, we looking forward to the uh, new role. Let me be. Looking for that new EP and shit coming out on August fifteenth. Oh my god, that's gonna <laughs> this gonna be to the public. Yeah, we're oh, looking forward Lord. to uh, that comedy special. You know what I'm saying? All my business. Yeah, we're looking forward to all that. You want to leave people with any uh, positive uh, words? Either you make the day or the day make you. So mm -hmm. you got the choice to pick. Mm -hmm. Always pick a positive one. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the worst advice you received? We going in on that one. The worst advice I we, It's easy to be like, oh, yeah, the best advice. He told me to do well. <clears throat> the worst Continue advice. Continue with your dreams. <laughs> like, what's the, the worst? Uh, so people won't even, you know what I'm saying? To be to be sneaky, mm -hmm. do some sneaky shit on yeah. somebody you know that got your back. That's the worst advice I've received. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Hell yeah. Tell people where they can follow you at on Instagram, Facebook. It was hard to find me on Facebook at first. I'm like, but I found you. You found my Facebook? <laughs> I looked them old pictures and stuff and using there. Just... Oh, I be trying to. That's why I vent. <laughs> but yeah, where can't find you on? You can find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Highly so put favorite actress with two eyes. Mm -hmm. You can also follow my. I have two Instagrams. My business is C R N E T C I A R N E T T E. For sure, for sure. And like I said, hey, uh, I got these cookies from Detroit Cookie Company. Hey, if y'all want to sponsor the show, please. I love y'all cookies. <laughs> I love these cookies, boy. In Ferndale, go ahead and get some cookies from that motherfucker. But uh, in Shavers, hey, buddy, episode one eight nine. Got the homie Sierra Smith in the building. Best podcast city if you think different and you fucking drunk. We out.